go out. No, Bob. Morning, owl. Sweet sunshine, how are you today? I see yours. Good morning, Charlene. Back. I keep watching. Good morning, baby girl. Good morning. Marty. I know, I'm early. Oh, hold on, let me turn my Wi-Fi off. Good morning, Linda. Gail, good morning, girls. I'm just sitting outside. There's a lot of thrashing going on in the woods. I think, I think he's back. Am I blurry? I feel like crap. Allie, where have you been? It's funny you hop on because I was thinking about you. Hi, Nancy. I was thinking about you this morning. Haven't seen you. Hope you're well. Hope you're doing good. Am I a little blurry? I'm blurry on my iPad. I'm blurry on the iPad. Doo -doo. Good morning, Janice. Good morning, Rosemary. Am I crap? I hate being blurry. Hold on, because I'm clear on on this end. There's Jennifer. You can all thank Jennifer for this because she sent me a really... Jennifer Rush sent me a picture <laughs> of a pumpkin centerpiece. <laughs> so, she got me thinking. And she sent me a bunch of little... The, the mini boards. Oh, Three. I could barely make it through one. Morning, Diane. Um, so yes, Jennifer sent me a, a beautiful picture of a Dollar Tree centerpiece, table centerpiece, and I'm like, I could do that. So we're gonna give it a whirl, and we're gonna um, do my lily, the lily petal with the tent. No, come on, bud. Go on. With the lily petal that I did. Oh, a year ago? Maybe a little more? Maybe a little more? I'll wait for a couple couple more friends to pop on and then I'll get started. Oh, this cat. Morgan, get Ash. I might do a whole week of lives. How's that? Morgan's bestie wants, um, she's homeschooling her 20 kids. <laughs> and she wants a, a homeschooling wreath. No, now stop. Here, go eat your mouse. So I might make, I might make that tomorrow. A week of Rosie? I think I will. I think I will. Pumpkin week. Pumpkin and back to school week. How's that? <laughs> yes, Nancy, I'm doing that uh, Wacky Wednesday. Wednesday night I'll be doing that one. I hope I get my pumpkin frames from Dollar Tree. I ordered a case. Uh, thank you, Charlene. 
Good morning, Miss Ames. It was so nice yesterday. Um, I had an old friend visit. She's um, from Erie. I used to work with her at the grocery store. <laughs> and we brought up some awesome memories. We sat there and laughed and laughed and laughed for hours. Oh crap. Hold on. I'm going to get a drink. I didn't bring my coffee in. Hold on. Talk to each other. I'll be right back. Oh crap, hold on, one more thing. The only thing is, I have to go hunt for ribbon because I sold all my fall stuff. <laughs> yes, I did pee. We will be doing this on Wacky Wednesday. Not this exact thing, but I'll show you how to do this. If I don't get my pumpkin frames, I'm going to have to take my centerpiece. Good morning, Donna. I'm going to have to take my centerpiece apart <laughs> and use that. Now where can I stash this? Under here. Yeah, so maybe tomorrow night we'll do um, a school wreath. Michelle, you want to come on? It's only showing half. It must be our phones. we got queer phones. Okay, a lot of people are saying their Dollar Trees don't have the pumpkin frames. Hobby Lobby has them. They're smaller. They're, I mean, they're not a dollar, of course. Um, they're a little bit smaller. Hi, Angie. And they're um, a little heavier. So try Hobby Lobby. There's my beautiful Sarah. I'll keep watching for the bear. <laughs> okay, you ready? You ready, ready, ready? Let's get started because I got a splitting headache. What I did was I took two pumpkin frames, Dollar Tree pumpkin frames, put them together. They do not match up. So if you're going to be that picky, good luck. Because neither, they, they just don't. You could put twine around it. Um, Michelle Joseph did an awesome one. And she put um, cording or something around the edges. I'm not going to do that. I spray paint in mine copper because I like the copper. Yeah, pumpkin things thingies on Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday I'm doing the um, the wall the wall hanging. This one's the centerpiece, and I have this is a small UITC board. You don't have to paint it. I did because I did not know what um, mesh I was going to use, so I painted it. Hi, Lorraine. There's Kathy. <laughs> no, I have crappy pillows. So as you can see, it's wobbly. Hopefully, once I get the mesh and flowers on, it's not going to wobble. Okay? And what I did was, get my hands caught in here. I'm taking it back off till I get the mesh on, and then I'll put it back on. I tried evening out the sides. And then I just zip tied it to the board. This is a small UITC board. No, come on. Morgan, come get this cat. Go on. Okay, so we're going to start from the very beginning. Yes, you do not have to spray paint the boards. Get on. So I, 
I zip tied these together. On the bottom, there's one, two, three, and four, and then one just to hold the top. I might, I might have to move that. Good morning, Bob. <laughs> yes, Wednesday night, if I get my frames, I will do, I will do the other pumpkin. If not, I'll take this one apart and use one of those. <laughs> I did every hole. I didn't I didn't uh, drill any extra holes. Okay. I'm using three different kinds of mesh. I got last year. I doing this one. It's got the brown and the copper, the chocolate, that's copper. Chocolate and copper. And this is, do you want me to type the item in? Natural Chocolate Copper Jute. Last year, I don't, even, I don't know if they have it. Oh, Angie, it's not complicated. This is easy peasy. <clears throat> it's all easy. <laughs> and Morgan and Ash, if you're on, I got this for our stems when we do our next class. Hobby Lobby. I ordered it online. I got four rolls of it. It's the chicken wire um, ribbon. I got, is this the gold? No. Yes. The gold. So what you're going to do, if you want to spray paint them, spray paint them. Um, copper. I also had chrome down there. Chrome would have been neat. I love my metals, if you don't know that. Um, spray paint outside. Let it sit for two days. And I didn't, I didn't coat, because I wanted it to look tarnished, so I just spotted it in. So you can still see some of the black. So you can still see some of the black. I wanted it to look. <laughs> Easy for you to say. <laughs> I wanted it to look a little tarnished. We're doing the lily petal. I concocted it a year, year and a half ago, two years ago. No bear. Still no bear. No extra holes. Small UITC board. If you want to make it bigger, I would not waste a good flower board. This would be awesome if you have a bigger table or a buffet table. Get a character board and then just drill holes, drill holes in it. To hold your pumpkins down. Character board would be awesome. I didn't have any or I would be using it. <laughs> Good morning, Donnie. Okay, this is, I'm bringing you down a little more. This is the lily petal. This is 10 and a half wide, so you want to do a complete square. So you want to cut it at 10 and a half. Okay? Here he comes with his damn balls. Curl side down. Curl side down. Grab a... Where's my pencil? Bob was eating my eraser. Find your center or close enough. Okay. Come up underneath. Bob, I'm going to kill you. Come up underneath. And cup it up and just pull up. Also looks like a floor de lease. However you say it. And there you have, I call it like a lily. You could twist it, turn it. Um, I tried it on poly burlap, does not work as good. But there you have it. Not heat sealed, because I want it to fray a little bit. If you want to heat seal it, then heat seal it. Hi, Barbara. I want it, I want it to fray. And this is poly jute, jute poly. So it's kind of hard to um, heat seal. Girls, I'm winging it. I haven't made this yet, so. <laughs> if I fail, and I'll just lay like that. 
16 all the way around. And you want your factory edges on each side, or no, the other way. Because when you lay it down, you want your factory edge like on this side and then this side. But explain that good enough. Explain that good enough. Curl side down, eyeball your center. Cup it up, and then just bring it up. Yes, I do, Charlene. <laughs> Thank you, but yes, I do. Kind of pull them in so they're all the same around. You know what I mean? I don't know. That's like an inch. That's like an, yeah, pull it like an well, till it comes to the next set of holes. How about that? This is row one. So row two, bring your ends in to where it meets there. Because I do have the, the beige fabric mesh I'm using, and that is fraying like crazy, which is, that's going to go in row three. <clears throat> factory edge top, factory edge bottom. Your cut edges are going to be on the sides. Is that how I did it? Yep. And just give it a little twist. Yeah, this should hold the pumpkin nice. That won't be all wonky. Come on, Teresa. So am I, Sarah. <laughs> I'm sleepy, too. Wait, is this way? How did I do it this way? This way? Yeah. You could turn them multiple ways and you'll get different looks. Is that pretty? This also makes a really pretty flower. I've done the flowers. Right, Sarah? <laughs> That's me. I don't know where he went. No, this way. Lines this way, Rose. Oh my God! You just you want a complete square. So if you have a ten and a half inch mesh, you want to cut it at ten and a half. You have twelve inch. You want to cut it at twelve inch. You can use your finger even. You don't need a pencil.
I guess if you wanted to make these ahead of time, you would just use the little rubber bands to hold it. <clears throat> Hi, Judy. This mesh is very pretty. I have two rolls of it, I think. Maybe it not. Yeah, two rolls of it. And I had the perfect ribbon to match, but I sold it. <laughs> I sold all my fall crap. Not thinking I was going to do any, but look at me go. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. Oh my god, you guys. The other day, Saturday. <laughs> we were pulling into Dollar Tree parking lot. And I felt a bug go in my ear. So I shake, you know, I put my finger in there. Um, I thought I got it out. Nope. Husband's sitting in the truck. I go in, get my mask on. And I thought it was the elastic from the face mask bothering my ear. I'm like, what the hell is that? And I'm talking to the lady, asking her about pumpkins. And I, I'm echoing, I'm yelling because it, cause it feels like I'm echoing. I shake my damn head and the fly, the, the fly flew out of my ear. It was so nasty. It was gross. So then I'm thinking he laid eggs in there. It laid eggs in there. <clears throat> Okay, Deborah. any questions later on, just shoot me a message. Have a good day at work. A fall hat. Is Rebecca on? I see your face. There's Rebecca. Good morning, sunshine. I put my shopping list in with Michelle. <laughs> I'm going to make elf hats well Susie hats for, for me for my um, door yeah so however you turn it you get different petals Judy, I am making a fall table slash fireplace slash buffet slash whatever centerpiece. This is called the lily petal for those of you just coming in. Uh, Cole, um, the third row I have fabric mesh, so we're gonna, tr we're gonna try it. Poly burlap, not so much. I tried it with poly, it just doesn't it doesn't curl as good.
last January, I think I did one with the denim, the denim blue um, fabric mesh and this tan fabric mesh. It was stunning. I, it, it sold the second I showed it on my page. So yes, it does work. You're welcome. Yes, it frays terrible. <laughs> but I want the fray. I want the fray. Oh, this cat. Now he's in my mesh. There's Dean. Good morning, Deaners. You're late. Wake the hell up. <laughs> no bear yet, Morgan? There was, it was a lot of thrash. It wasn't the deer because it was a lot of cracking in the woods. If you're just joining, this is a small UITC board, but I would use a character board and just drill holes here in the center to hold your pumpkins down. I would use character board. Well, no, maybe not because you want it to fill in. No, I would stick with a small board. What are you doing? Get. No, get. Okay, Lorraine, have a good day. Are you bedding up? So have I. <laughs> I think I need new pillows. My neck's got to snap. If you can't, I, I said in the beginning, if you can't find Dollar Tree pumpkin frames, Hobby Lobby has them. They're $5.99, smaller, but, and they're heavier. So they might look right on a small, on a, right better on a small board. Okay, the rule one is complete. Make sure all your tails are touching row two. See how pretty? Oh, he was looking for his springs. I went to Tractor Supply and I got him new toys. He just gets too bored. Okay, that was that's row one so far. These make a really pretty flower. Yes, you can always go online, have a case delivered to your store. At least that way you'll always have them. <laughs> if you order a case. Okay, that's row one. Row two... I don't know the skew for this. It's another poly jute. It just seems to hold up the petal better. It's a dark brown with the burlap in it. What happened, Dean? Oh, you okay with that, Dean?
You're able to you're able to collect, I hope. <clears throat> Forty years, wow. At the same place? I would go crazy. Okay, now we're in row two. There's no extra holes. Oh, this is gonna be pretty. Cat. <clears throat> this is also ten and a half, so I cut it at ten and a half. Seems like all the poly jute's ten and a half. Why? I don't know. Because I had a burlap copper ribbon I sold. <laughs> It would have been perfect for this. I sold it. Hello, Indiana. I might not want to put the pumpkin in it. <laughs> Just kidding. Who did one like this? Um, she made it beachy. Sue? Sue Potter. How do you say your last name? Lich? Leitch? Aw, so sorry, Dean. There's Veronica. Veronica, I'm doing the lily, the lily petal. Curl side down, ten and a half by. It's cut ten and a half by ten and a half. Find your center, cup up, and just twist however you want. Girl, I did not. Girls, I did not practice this. Did I say that? <laughs> So if I fail, <laughs> hey, I come up with it uh, a year and a half ago, I think, Alma, or last spring. When the hell did I do it? Uh-oh, the beast has awakened. <laughs> oh, your child. You just want a complete square. If you got even 12 inch, you want to cut it at 12 inches. Yeah, you just twist it and you get a bunch of little, um... Oh, there goes Dean. <laughs> Dean's got her hearts on. Oh, it's really blurry on my iPad. <clears throat> I think on the one I did, I used two sets of petals in each because it really, it really fills in. What'd you lose now, idiot? Hold on. I can't find it. With it. Anybody want a cat? Where'd it go? There it is. Here. Here. I got him a bag of plastic springy things. <laughs> and now he's losing them.
He's, he's hitting them under things, I think, on purpose. My shell. Girls, I might not want to add my pumpkin. This might just be a flower. <laughs> Did I say that already? Okay, this is row two. You could probably even, I thought of this, and I didn't get one while I was there, idiot. Um, grab a Dollar Tree um, wire frame and set it, set the pumpkin on it. It might sit better because, see, these are, you're not going to be able to see. The ribs of the pumpkin, like the frame, sits lower than the sides. That's why it's wonky and rocking on the board. <clears throat> so you might even be able to, because I'm adding flowers and everything with this. Um, try it on a wireframe even. <laughs> False alarm. Oh. Hello, Paula. Hello, Ruth Ann. What? <laughs> Hello, Tina. And an, another Kathy. Good morning, girls. Somebody get Paula. Or wait, what time is it in uh, New Zealand? <laughs> Let's make this a really interesting morning. <laughs> This would be really pretty with um, one of Michelle's rope centers. Oh, okay. Thanks, Kathy. Good morning, Tammy. I didn't know that. Like it pulls it up. No, Judy, I didn't walk back that far. I totally forgot. She's hunting firefighters. <laughs> I'm running back up today. Because I want to do fabric-wrapped pumpkins. That'll be... You're going to get a week of Rosie. Hi, Linda. <laughs> She's found one. She probably did, and he's probably locked in her bathroom. Okay, so that was row two. No extra holes drilled. This board was not hurt. Except it was spray painted. Not necessary, like I said in the beginning. I just did it because I didn't know what mesh I was going to use. Okay, that was row two. Row three is eight pieces. But I'm going to go every other, I think, because I don't, I didn't want to hack up. Veronica, Hobby Lobby has them, but they're a little smaller. They're, they're not a dollar. They're, I think, $5.99. They're a little smaller and they're heavier. So Hobby Lobby does have them. Hi, Linda. You can order, you could, you could go online, Dollar Tree online, and have a case sent to your store. Because mine didn't carry them either, but they still send them to your store. Oh, okay, I'll have to look, Kathy. Thank you. Good morning, Faith. Okay, row three is going to be this fabric mesh. Do I have enough? One two, three, four, five. I only have six pieces. So I'm going to go every other with this. This is, okay, this is 10. 
This was cut at 10 inches. This it gets really curly, but it does fray like I said. The end, when you use the end of the rolls, oh my god, you get so much curl because it's already curled. See that? <clears throat> so I'm going to go every other with this. <gasps> this is going to be pretty. Because I know I cut some at 10 and some at 12. Okay, this is my 10 inch. So I don't care because it's in the middle and I don't know if you're going to see it. Like this is the fabric mesh. See, it does fray. I want it, it's, it's going to be in the center of the board. I want it to fray. Because then it'll look like stringy, like like straw. Hey, hey, straw. That one's really ripped up. Hold on, this one's really bad. Thank you, Dean. See that fraying? I think this is the one the cat got a hold of. <laughs> okay, that's every other. I'm going to go back in and put four more pieces of the chocolate and copper. So hang on with me and you still have a good amount left ten and a half one It's not going to sit right on one. sits to the side of it. Good morning, Marilyn. Okay, 
Okay, this is row three. Row four we're not going to use because that's where our... I don't know if the florals are even going to fit in here now. <laughs> I don't think they're going to fit. I may have put too much in. Oh, so when I was in Dollar Tree, a guy, he um, he, he had a handful of um, artificial, the mums, the silk mums. <laughs> he goes to hand them to me and he goes, dude, would you like to go to the prom with me? I burst out laughing. I was dying. I said, why are you getting fake? He goes, nobody sees them. It's in my backyard. Only I could see them. I said, oh, okay. Girl's a perfect flower right here. <laughs> Walmart is slowly getting their stuff out. Because I also ran there. <sighs> like they had no ribbon because I was looking for ribbon. I'm not getting glitter ribbon. Hell no. Dollar Tree had the ribbon. Uh-uh. There was nothing but glitter. I wasn't doing that. You know what dumbass me forgot to do? Cut my floral stems. If the fray drives you nuts, then wood burn it, seal it, whatever you call it. See, the cat was playing on the shelf. And was playing with it. Okay, one more in the center. Thank you, Janet. Jennifer Rush sent me the uh, picture. She said, can you do this? <laughs> I said, I'll give it a whirl. So if you, you study a picture long enough. Look at that, even like a... So it all depends on when you pull it up, how you twist it and turn it. Um, when I go there. Yeah, so I studied the picture a little bit, and I wanted it because it needs it needs to sit on a base. And Jennifer had sent me a bunch of little um the little the mini boards. They were too small. So Charlene suggested try putting two together, and then I didn't know how to keep them together. Okay, so there is this is going to be your base for your pumpkin centerpiece. I'm not doing the center. <clears throat> it's a pretty flower even if you get one of those um, cording centers. Good morning, Marla. Okay, now in the center, I'm going to lock down, well, first of all, let's see how this is going to go, because I planned it, tried to in my head. Oh my god, I made it too fluffy. <laughs> oh, I made it too fluffy. Parting the C's here. I should have kept the pumpkin frame on it. Oh, it's going to work. It's going to work. Because I'm putting florals in it. And then you want to... You can weave around. 
<gasps> yes. Look at that. Look at that, girls. <laughs> I'm trying to even them off on each side <clears throat> so it sits evenly in the board see and that's got it's got to come this way a hair so each rib is on each end oh, look how pretty <laughs> it's amazing Let me get it. And it actually just sits there. Hold on to your monkeys. I don't want to add florals. Sorry. Don't want to add florals. Here, my belly ground one. Girls, I would send. I would send the Dollar Tree frames, but with all the packing stuff, because we need the envelopes to send them to you. Okay, there's one. Oh yes. I use zip ties, uh, Judy, one up here and then two on the bottom. They, you're, you're never going to, good luck trying to find two frames that actually fit together because they do not. And you can't hot glue them because then they peel apart. So if you want to take cording, I don't know how, I'm, I'm just leaving them like this take cording and hot glue it around it. You could do that too. Hold on, I'll flip it over and show you the bottom how I zip tied it. And scooch it over. Oh, that's so pretty. And then you want to work your petals. See, now it's not so wonky anymore. Weave your petals back through. <clears throat> Another good reason to paint the board. You know, I mean, you don't have to, like I said, because when you add your florals and all your pumpkins, you really won't see the board. I don't want to add the florals. <laughs> I really, really don't. Just a bow. I want to do just a bow. Oh, yes. Yes! Look how pretty. And then if you don't want to add anything, I have, these are battery operated candles. They have a timer on them. So if you want to set, and it makes an awesome little night light. This one's kind of gross. And they have taller ones. You can set it on for six hours and eight hours. Oh my gosh, yes. Bye girls. <laughs> That's it. No, just kidding. Look how pretty. Hold on. Yeah, Marla. Oh my gosh, yes, you could do that. And if you squish it together, you can use it as a Christmas ornament. 
You can actually use these for a Christmas ornament. See how pretty that is? Let me move my head. See how pretty? But girls, Ashley and Morgan, if you want to do this, I got to get more mesh. I think I have another roll of this. I don't have much fall crap. I'm trying to use everything up. This is so pretty. Okay, now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, girls. Hi, Tammy. Here's the other Michelle. Very easy. It's going to be very, very, very easy. If you don't have the boards, like you try to get um, the 12-inch wire frames. Um, Hobby Lobby has those too. The plain, not the work frames, the plain um, wire forms. Even a square one. And do from corner to corner. Instead of side to side, do a corner to corner one. Okay, let's add some posies. Thank you, my little gels. We're gonna also from Dollar Tree. That's kind of big for a table. <laughs> These are the flowers I got while the bug was flying out of my ear. If the cat notices these, they're going to be gone. He's going to shred them. His little they got the feathers and then the wispy grass. <clears throat> There's like a mob, there's like a burgundy grass in it, a green. And if you don't want to fasten these down, I think they're just going to, oh crap, I put it on wrong. Oh no, I didn't. Um, just set them in there if you don't want to fasten anything down. Well, we could look through my mess, Ash. Ashley. I don't have much. I've got... There's Diane. Welcome, Pat. Yeah, last January, I think I did that petal fold. I guess I should have cut these off beforehand. Ah! I wanted to get the berry thingies too, but I hate it when they're all chopped up. Hello, Linda. Yeah, see, the cat sees these. The table. <laughs> the cat's going to be on the table. I'm not going to fasten these down yet. I'm just going to lay them in there. Spread them out a little bit. Evenly. Now, I don't know why people put Dollar Tree stuff down. Some of it's good. Some of it's not. If you don't like it. Don't use it. A lot of people complain about their mesh. Then don't use it. Ashley, I do have gray and whites, actually. I, I have a gray check. 
How did that go? And I have a white, plain white. You have enough to last you forever. <laughs> I The only stuff I have gotten this year is here and there from Michelle. She's my new mesh dealer. Oh, and I think I got I got some uh, 21 inch when I did my daisy wreath. Okay, let's try this. I'm just going to lay these down in. I'm not going to fasten them down in yet because I like to move stuff around. So I'm just going to lay them for now. One on each side. And this I could actually tuck up underneath the frame till I'm ready to fasten them down. I'm not going all the, I'm just doing side to side. Do you want me to pull you back a little bit? That's right, one on this side. And then one on this side. I want this to hold them up a little bit. Okay, that and that. This could go right through to Thanksgiving. You want me to pull back? I don't know if I can without it. Yeah, see, I can't. So here is the one side, and then here's the other side. These are the pheasant, the pheasant grass, the pheasant tail, with the grasses. I also got, which I don't know if I want to use these. Yes, I do. <laughs> Yes, I do. Because I want to make my darn bow. These are cute little orangey burlap, also from Dollar Tree. Now, if you want to, if you if you find a nice little bouquet you like, and you want to take them all the way around, that would be pretty. Oops, sorry. I didn't show you that. And I gotta take it back out because I got more tan than orange. This one I freaking loved. been on even leaves if you have leaf garland you could like clasp your um, leaf garland on Those Joanne fabrics have the big, beautiful fall um, hydrangeas. Yeah, see, I'm going to cut, I'm not going to do it now, but I'm going to cut the stem shorter. Hi, Virginia! Okay, and only an hour. Okay. So I got four of these.
yeah, see, I want to cut the main trunk off. And like I said, if you don't want to hot glue them or zip them down, they go right underneath the frame. And I, because I don't want to do any of that because I might have to reuse these for Wednesday night if I don't get my case in. And now I'll take one of these. I might get more of these for my Wednesday night. And bring it in here to bring it in. Oh, so pretty. Sorry. Having a moment. Yeah, see, I wanted to fray, but holy crow. coffee so I don't spill it. Y'all could thank Jennifer for this live because she talked me into it. <laughs> Jen talked me into it. So don't thank me, thank Jennifer. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to lay that there because I want to hurry up and make my bow. To make me bow. See, am I getting super blurry? Probably because the table's moving. Facebook is shutting me down. Yeah, see, I'm just going to lay it in there. This one on top. Ah! Flower popped off. I will take a picture when I'm all. This is going to lay on top and bring it in. Now I got oh, gorge. I'll have to take you off the phone holder and bring it in. See, I want these to fray more. I also got these little bronzy copper pumpkins. Pumpkins. The mesh is too deep. It's a hot glue on down in. Dollar Tree pumpkins also. I did not like Walmart's pumpkins. Okay, say there's that and that. And then like I said, if you could get one of these cam candles they also make taller ones. I do have a taller one out there. Um, it's a four hour and an eight hour timer on it. So if you turn it on, say nine o'clock, awesome little night light. It'll stay on for four or eight hours. So you need something taller there. 
But there you have, it's not going to set because I don't have everything down. And so it doesn't even matter if the sides are off because you, you don't even pay attention to it. For here, I'm going to make a bigger stem. I'm going to wrap it with this chicken wire. Ash, I got the chicken wire ribbon. just to make it bigger. I need a bigger stem. Hobby Lobby. Online I ordered it. I think it's 15 feet per. I want it to form this way. Now, when you do this, these little pieces of wire hurt. If you get stabbed, you will bleed forever. I found that out the other day. <clears throat> Make sure you tuck them in. They hurt. Now I'm putting a bow here, so hold on. You can't see, yeah, see, I'm not putting those in there yet. You can't see the whole thing because of my camera. I even have, for in here, I even got these palm palmy things from Walmart. Allium, they're alliums. Okay, I'm going to put it aside and I'm going to do a bow. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. So even if you could, if you could get a bigger pumpkin and put it in bef before you zip tie your pumpkins together, that would be pretty. Put a styrofoam disc to bring it up. Yep. Thanks, Sharon. Who else did I miss? Sorry if I missed y'all. Yeah, don't glue them in. Oh my god, I missed y'all. Oh, I didn't see it. Where is Virginia? Sorry. I was, yeah, I was in a zone. Virginia, I couldn't even, it would cost a mini fortune to send that. Uh, Michelle posted the other day rates, and I even got another, I got the email from Pirate Shipping. All rates are going up. So. <laughs> so. Okay, bow time. The bow dazzler. I need I'm going to use these three because I have to because I have to oh, the bear's out there Morgan go look outside hold on I got to get a um, uh, pipe cleaner I kind of want to do two I cannot walk at all. I want to do two, um, oh, I almost missed the chair. Jesus, Roseanne. Two bows, one for each side of the handle. <laughs> Oh, 
It's slowly going away. Thank you, Allie. Very hard to ship. I don't even know how Babam reads unless she sells local. It's she makes Marie's door swags the size of cars. I don't know how she ships. Even Jackie blew it. Holy crow. Those things are big. This I don't know where I got it from. Must be. Dollar Tree. I don't want tails. Oh, this is starting to fray too. I'm just doing a little. Five-incher. Still no bear. I don't think I want tails. I just want two. I'm going to kill this dog. <clears throat> Five inches is plenty. <laughs> Hold on, I got to get the good scissors from, from Michelle. I want just a burlap. No, because I need color in there. I need color. I'm trying to hurry so I don't get kicked off. ribbon because it doesn't settle. It doesn't sit nice. I'm doing five, all five inch loopy poops. Has it cooled off where you all live? It finally cooled off here, but it's, I guess it's supposed to get flipping hot again this week. Go back up. I'm only going to do one bow because if I could find copper again when I go to Walmart, <laughs> I'm going to make another. So for right now, girlies. Yeah, some, everything is for sale. And anything you see on my page <laughs> is for sale. I just hate putting prices on. If somebody's interested in something, then. But as for shipping... going to be ridiculous. So for right now, one bow. <clears throat> I 
You know, I'll, I hate to use ribbon <laughs> and mesh. Is it storming? Oh yeah, Mich yeah, Charlene's dying there. You're taking the kids swimming. You're gonna need scuba gear. It's gonna be freezing. I got a zip tie. Cutters. Where are my? Anybody see him? Roseanne. Now when I make the bow, it's going to be a lot bigger if Walmart has ribbon. Because <laughs> I want it on both sides. You don't have to cover up the stem. If you're happy with this small stem with the two frames together, then by all means, I'm just going to tuck this up because I'm taking it back off. And then you don't have to wrap it. If you wanted to add tails, you can add tails. Once you get going like I did, then you're like, you're going to be like, oh, I could do this way, this way, this way. So be positive. There's no right and wrong way. It's your creation. And I think Michelle's trying to explaining this. It's however you want it to, you know what I mean? You're all talented. I've seen all your stuff. Yeah, see, I don't even know if I like that because you can see the frame, the handle underneath. But that's all. I'm going to do another one on the other side. Just a simple little, I might even add more. Am I still blurry? Thank you, Jennifer. All right, I'm going to take you off the stand because you can't get a full view of it because <laughs> it's a little wide. Yeah, I got to go hunt down some ribbon. Joanne's doesn't even have crap. They have Halloween crap. I don't want Halloween crap. And my ribbon doesn't match. It's a darker orange, so that's going to annoy me. Hold on, Zs. I'll find my pins before I step on them. Okay, found me pins. Well, there's two of them anyway. I'm going to take you off. The stand, so don't get sick on me. <clears throat> hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, you ready? Oh, where'd it go? Hold on, I gotta flip you around. 
And there it is. Oh, it's a wonky ass. You can you still can't see it. Hold on. <laughs> you still can't see it. It's very big. It's very, very big. Let me put it on the floor. <laughs> Morgan, if you want this one, you know your mother will give it to you. I got, yeah, see, I need different ribbon. See how pretty that is? And if you got a bigger pumpkin to put in, yeah, I'm, I'm headed to Walmart. If you put a bigger pumpkin in there... Go big or go home. Here, and I'll show you what it looks like on the table. Oh, my back. Yeah, see, I sat too long. I got to get up. Perfect size for my table. Look it. I'm up on the chair. Don't, don't mind the Oreos. Perfect size for a rectangle table. Now, if Hobby Lobby has the smaller pumpkin frames, it would be perfect for a round table. Look how awesome. Yep, I'm going to go get more stuff. Pumpkins, different ribbon, because that's too bright. I need like a darky orange. So there you have it. Thank you, ladies. Thank you so much. Here's my peacock wreath, the second one. So there we have it. This I'm going to redo, maybe this week. Okay, y'all. Any questions here? My goodness, she's claimed it. Any questions? I gotta go snap me neck. If you're gonna watch the replay, if you're gonna watch the replay later, please don't ask questions there because I will not find them ever. Send me a private message. That's a huge peacock. Good to see you, Allie. Glad you're okay. You're more than welcome. What, um, Ash, when I get the... I still haven't gotten the rest of the pumpkin frames. Those I had. Grab the Oreos. <laughs> Grab the Oreos and run. When I get the when I get my frames in, we'll have craft day. They should be here today or tomorrow. But I'm doing your wreath tomorrow. I'm hoping. Okay, girlies, I think I'm gonna go. Because I have some rosette centers to make. Three to be exact. You are welcome, everybody. I want to thank you for keeping me going. Because if it wasn't for all of you, I would quit. Which I think I'm... Anyway, okay. I'm not going to get into all that crap now. Double woohoo. Oh, Michelle, I didn't see it. Sorry, Michelle, I didn't see it. Crap. <laughs> yeah, girls, take your naps now. Michelle, I didn't see it. What do you want to do, a workshop this weekend? We'll post it. 
Sorry, Wendy, I'm done. <laughs> Watch the replay. <laughs> Uh, you're all welcome. Any questions? Um, just shoot me a private message. Because I have people always watch the replay and they ask questions during the replay. And I go to find it. And I can't find it. And then I pull my hair out. And then I just stop. Oh, Bean is awake and prowling. Don't be crying. Okay, I love yous. Have a great day. And you'll possibly see me tomorrow night. I will post if I can find all my stuff. It was a small board, Tammy. Small UITC board. But if you want to go big, you can always use the large. <laughs> and then you want to hook your pumpkin frame always between this hole and this hole. That's how I measured mine up. Sorry, Wendy. Roseanne is a morning person. Okay, love yous. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. And um, I'm off to Walmart to get ribbon and pumpkins. I love yous. Bye. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.